The US Army could soon have a cannon that can fire much further than any gun in the world. As per Military.com, General John Mike Murray, the head of the Army's Futures Command, has told Congress that the work is ongoing on developing a new cannon named the Strategic Long Range Cannon (SLRC). The cannon is being developed to have a range of 1,150 miles or 1,850 kilometers. This will be uncharted territory for artillery guns and if it comes to fruition, the cannon will be one of a kind with no match. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. Army's strategic long-range cannon will be a nightmare for Russia and China. Let's get started. Currently, U.S. Army is dependent on U.S. Navy and especially the U.S. Air Force for long-range strike. This is how the wars in Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria have been conducted. Air strikes were made available on demand for U.S. Army. But going forward, this tactic will be harder and harder to implement since American rivals like Russia and China are developing long-range air defense systems. For instance, the Russian S-400 air defense system can strike airborne targets at ranges up to 400 kilometers. This technically means the U.S. Army's artillery fire will have to take the lead. At present, U.S. artillery platforms are not in good shape since they've long been neglected as most of the heavy lifting was done by Air Force's close-in ground strike missions. In 2016, former National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster told Congress that U.S. field artillery is outranged and outgunned by its Russian and Chinese counterparts. Viewers may note that keeping this view, in 2017, the Army Chief of Staff, General Mark Milley, officially made long-range precision fires LRPF, the U.S. Army's number one priority. LRPF is an umbrella program of which strategic long-range cannon is a part. One thousand one hundred fifty miles or eighteen hundred fifty kilometers range for a cannon is enormous to say the least. At present, U.S. Army's largest guns are M109A7 Paladin self-propelled howitzer and the M777 towed howitzer. Both of these are 155 millimeter guns and have a range of 18.6 miles or 30 kilometers. The long-range land attack projectile, a shell especially developed for the Zumwalt class of destroyers, which was ultimately canceled due to high cost, has a range of 85 miles or 135 kilometers. To give the viewer perspective, it's to be noted that even the massive 16-inch guns of the Iowa-class battleships had a range of only 23 miles or 37 kilometers. In the 1960s, Canadian artillery engineer Gerald Bull developed the High Altitude Research Project, or HARP. HARP was designed as a satellite launch vehicle so that it could propel projectiles up to 111 miles into space. HARP was created by end-to-end -end joining of 16-inch naval gun barrels and had a weight of 100 tons. The gun never saw operation as it was canceled in 1967. In the 1980s, Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein roped in Gerald Bull. He wanted to have a massive cannon so that shells could be lobbed at Iran and other rivals. The prototype was named Baby Babylon and it was intended to be a test bed. It had a bore diameter of 330 millimeters and was 100 feet long. It's estimated that the gun could fire shells into a range of 400 miles or about 640 kilometers. The actual gun was named Big Babylon and was to be far massive in structure to the prototype. It had a bore diameter of 914 millimeters and was expected to launch a 1,322 pound shell to a distance of 528 miles or 850 kilometers. Gerald Bull was killed by suspected Israeli agents and the gun was never completed. The Super Cannon will basically be a supersized version of current guns and in all probability use a traditional explosive charge to hurl the shells. 
In October 2018, Colonel John Raffert told reporters, I don't want to oversimplify, but it's a bigger one of those. We're scaling up things that we're already doing. The shells in all probability will be much smaller than that of the 1,322-pound shell of proposed Big Babylon gun so that it can attain greater range. The shells will most likely be GPS-enabled so that they'll have high precision. According to Secretary of the Army Mark Esper, who says the fantastical weapon could open the door for other services, blasting enemy defenses, before they have a chance to open fire on U.S. Navy, Air Force and Marine Corps forces converging on the region. Esper was quoted in Task and Purpose, having said that the gun could sit in a gun pit on the edge of the South China Sea. As per him, the gun could destroy Chinese warships and military targets on islands across the South China Sea, destroying air defense sites, radar installations, anti-ship missiles, and even air bases. A super gun deployed in Philippine archipelago on the eastern edge of the South China Sea could hit Chinese military installations in both the Spratly and Paracel Island chains, including air bases on Subi Reef and Fiery Cross Reef. This could severely degrade Chinese defense and enable U.S. forces to mount offensive. The gun could be handy against Russia, too. A gun like this, based in southern Germany, could potentially hit Russian military assets in western parts of Russia. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.